You don't need a new PC to play CS2 like a pro. You just need the right setup. In this video, we're diving deep into the ultimate optimization guide for Counter-Strike 2, crafted to unlock hidden performance and boost your FPS like never before. Whether you're on a low-end rig or a high-spec build, this will transform how CS2 runs on your system. Let's get started. What's directed with the lag and harping while you play games so that you need a gear of boost up. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Rope players like Asian Jeff and Polarive to use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Let's begin by optimizing your graphics card settings to target one of the biggest performance factors in CS2. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, open the NVIDIA control panel. AMD users should head into AMD Radeon settings. Once inside, go to Manage 3D Settings, or the Equivalent section. First, change Power Management Mode to Prefer Maximum Performance. This ensures your GPU doesn't throttle under load and consistently delivers peak performance during intense CS2 matches. Now scroll down and find Texture Filtering Quality and set it to High Performance. This reduces graphical overhead by focusing on speed instead of visuals, which helps eliminate random stutters and sudden frame drops, especially during fast-paced action. These small but critical changes tell your GPU to prioritize CS2's real-time performance. Next up, we'll use a powerful external tool called Run with Affinity to ensure that CS2 gets top priority on your CPU. This step is crucial for improving performance, especially on systems where CPU usage isn't balanced or fully utilized during gameplay. Most players aren't aware that CS2 doesn't always run across all available CPU threads by default, which can lead to underutilization and trigger frame drops or random stutters. By using Run with Affinity, we can manually assign the best core and thread combination to CS2, forcing the game to use your CPU more efficiently. To get this tool, simply head over to my official website. The link is in the description below. Once you're there, go to the FPS Boost section. Look for the post that matches the title and thumbnail of this video. To get started, launch the Run with Affinity tool and click on Select Program, then press the three dots to manually browse for CS2's executable file. Head into your Steam directory, open Steam Apps, go to Common, and find the Counter-Strike 2 folder. Inside that, open the game, bin, and win64, and locate the main executable file named cs2.exe. Double-click to select it. Once the game file is loaded, head to the Processor section. This is where you assign CPU threads. The tool usually detects all available threads automatically, but if it doesn't, you'll need to set them manually. For instance, if your processor supports 16 threads, make sure you select all 16 to ensure CS2 has full access to your CPU's power. This allows the game to process more efficiently, reducing the chance of lag spikes or sudden frame drops during intense moments. After setting the affinity, create a desktop shortcut using the tool for easy access. Name it whatever you prefer and choose your desired save location. Once you click Create Shortcut, you're all set. You can now close the application. Now head into the registry folder included with the optimization pack. Inside, you'll find several registry files specifically designed to fine-tune system-level settings for CS2. Install each one by double-clicking the file and confirming the registry changes. These tweaks apply critical system modifications that lower input latency, enhance CPU scheduling, and improve overall system responsiveness, key factors for achieving fluid and consistent performance in CS2. Once you've applied all the base registry tweaks, go back to the main optimization folder and open the Counter-Strike 2 priority folder. This section contains additional registry files that directly control how your CPU prioritizes CS2 during gameplay. Choosing the correct file here ensures your processor allocates enough resources to CS2, reducing stutters and delivering more stable FPS. If you're on a low-end PC, install the normal priority registry. This maintains balance without overwhelming your system. For mid-range setups, go with the medium priority option to boost responsiveness while keeping background tasks in check. And if you're running a high-end PC, apply the high priority file to give CS2 the highest CPU priority, unlocking the best possible performance with reduced delay and maximum frame consistency. These priority settings intelligently align with your system's capability, ensuring your processor performs optimally without unnecessary overhead, making CS2 run much smoother across all hardware types. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. 
In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. In the next step, we're going to fine-tune essential Windows settings to squeeze out even more performance and eliminate unnecessary system tasks that silently consume CPU and memory while playing CS2. This will help stabilize your FPS and reduce lag by cutting down background processes and system bloat. Start by opening Windows settings through the Start menu. Go to Privacy, then click on the General tab. Here, disable all listed options. These control personalized ads, app tracking, and data collection that often run in the background. After that, go to Diagnostics and Feedback, set Diagnostic Data to Basic, and disable options like Improve Inking and Typing Recognition, Tailored Experiences, and Diagnostic Data Viewer. Finally, scroll down and click Delete under Delete Diagnostic Data to remove any previously collected system data that may slow things down. Next, return to the Windows search bar, type Allow Downloads from Other PCs, and open the corresponding setting. Windows often uses your PC to help distribute update files across devices on your network. This can steal bandwidth and processing power without your knowledge. Simply disable this feature to free up both. Now go to the System tab and click Notifications and Actions. Turn off all unnecessary notifications to minimize CPU interruptions during gaming. Then head into Focus Assist and make sure it's completely turned off to prevent Windows from shifting resources to non-gaming tasks. In the Tablet Mode section, change When I Sign In to Use Desktop Mode and set When This Device Switches Modes to Don't Ask Me and Don't Switch. Also, disable both extra tablet-related toggles below. Move to Multitasking and disable all snap features to avoid wasting performance on animations and snapping layouts. Then scroll to Timeline and turn it off completely to stop background activity tracking. In Virtual Desktops, change both dropdowns to Only the Desktop I'm Using to conserve resources. Skip projecting to this PC but under Shared Experiences, turn everything off to stop Windows from syncing in the background. Also, in Remote Desktop, disable it unless you specifically use that feature to reduce background connectivity. Still within System Settings, scroll down to the About section and click on Advanced System Settings on the right. In the new window, go to the Advanced tab and click Settings under Performance. Windows usually prioritizes visuals over performance here, which isn't ideal for gaming. Choose Adjust for Best Performance to disable all eye candy effects. However, to keep Windows usable and not overly stripped down, re-enable just these four options under the custom list. Enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, smooth edges of screen fonts. This strikes a perfect balance, clean visuals without slowing down your system. Hit apply and then OK to confirm. Before closing, stay on the advanced tab and look at processor scheduling. Make sure it's set to programs instead of background services. This change ensures that your CPU focuses on active tasks like CS2 and streaming, rather than wasting power on background maintenance. With all of these tweaks applied, your system will feel significantly faster, your input lag will drop, and CS2 will run with improved stability, delivering higher FPS and smoother gameplay sessions. That's it for today's video. If this helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more FPS boosting tips. See you in the next one. Peace out.